Today I feel greatly honored to officiate at this 65th graduation ceremony for Salim Gabe Central Hospital. It is with great pleasure that today we are witnessing the graduation of 137 registered general nurses, six operating theatre nurses, five intensive and coronary care nurses, nine pediatric nurses, and 66 midwives. The above can best be achieved by well-trained, knowledgeable, committed, and skilled nurses and midwives. It is a well-known fact that at any health institution, the first medical professional who attend to patients and clients is the nurse. It is therefore very important that these cadres be well equipped with the knowledge and adequate skills to ensure that we have a healthy nation. I'm also pleased to inform you that the government is aware of the critical role nurses play in our health delivery system all over the country, especially given the challenges of shortages of resources, the emerging new diseases and the absence of non-communicable diseases which are being treated in our health institutions countrywide. And I can assure you, as the new Minister of Health, and with the team that I'll be working with, uh, the Permanent Secretary, and all our Chief Directors, that will do all our best to make sure that we work tirelessly to improve both your remuneration and your non-monetary benefits, and make your working place um, a pleasant place to work from. Thank you all nurses. Salim Gabe Central Hospital, thank you for topping up the nurses' human resource base. However, ladies and gentlemen, there is a need for multi-sectoral collaboration and commitment to achieve the high levels of health care in our country. I, as your Minister of Health and Child Care, am appealing to these graduates to play a pivotal role in achieving high standards of care as they have gone through the rigorous training and are well-trained, knowledgeable, committed, and skilled nurses and midwives. It is also very important that we respect the cadres since they will refer patients and clients to doctors as required after the nurses have intervened at first level of health care.